everybody, it's Morgana, and I'm back again for the 2016 Grimoire Challenge. We're going to be doing week uh, February week 3, or I believe week 8. Um, <clears throat> this is going to cover the 15th through the 21st. <clears throat> um, again, this is a challenge that has been run mainly on Tumblr. Um, I will put a link down below so you can go check it out. It's really awesome. I encourage you to go at least go take a look at it. It's pretty cool. No pressure. Jump in at any time, skip any prompts you don't want to do, that kind of deal. It's very loose, very free. There's no stringency involved at all. <clears throat> that being said, we're going to dive right in with Monday, and Mondays are journal prompts. So we're going to do research the law of attraction and how it applies to sympathetic magic. <clears throat> Before I get into that, let me just say, I was kind of done with sympathetic magic at this point. I was just like, okay, I'm done. I'm over it. I don't want to do these anymore. Which, again, totally fine. So, I think all I wrote down was what the law of attraction is at this point. I'm, I want to say that's all I did. Um, yeah, like attracts like, and same attracts same. Two things are alike means they share some similarities, but not exactly the same, and it comes down to the correspondences that are used. Was, I was over it at this point. I had so much going on this past month. I was just kind of like, you know what? I, I, can we just move on to something else? So that's about all I did for that one. I was just like, I'm kind of over it. I don't want to research it. I'm done. Um, the divination is what different ways can you cast runes? And which way will I use? And will I cast in a, based on a layout or free form? That's the only two ways I know of to cast runes is either in a, in a, in a, in a layout like you would a tarot or an oracle, or <clears throat> would you just basically kind of like take take them, let them throw them down, let them fall, and then read from what you see from there. Um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna. Lie, I've never tried to read runes from a layout. <coughs> Apologies, I've been sick. I'm sorry. Let me drink some tea. Un momento, por favor. Okay, sorry about that. <clears throat> That's basically the only ways I know of how to do it. Um, I would I wouldn't mind trying a layout. I I I think it might be interesting, but I don't know. <clears throat> I'm gonna say something, but I'm gonna get into it in a minute. I'm not gonna get into it. I'm, I'm right now. Okay. <clears throat> Wednesdays, which is the correspondence, usually prompts. Uh, list different types of candles used in practice, color, size, shape, what are each candle's uses. <sighs> okay, this is where I'm not going to lie. I was like, really? I don't really typically use different shaped candles. There, I usually have, I have tea lights, votives, pillars, tapers, shine candles, and I have a couple of floating candles. That's all I got. I, I I don't have any crazy shaped ones. I don't. I know once upon a time I had one that was like in a heart shape. It was a heart shaped pillar candle, and that was that was years and years and years ago. I've never really used shaped candles beyond that. I really don't come across them very often. Not that I look for them either. So I mean, yes, if you think that'll add a bolster to your magic, yes, feel free. Go ahead and use that. Incorporate that little bit extra in it. But for me, it doesn't it doesn't really make a difference. But that's just me. <clears throat> and then, uh, Thursdays, which is a spell activity, was to write a spell that utilizes the law of attraction using sympathetic magic. <clears throat> Remember when I said on Monday's prop I was over <laughs> sympathetic magic? I was like, I'm over this. I'm not writing a spell for it. And I, 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 I tried, though. I sat there and stared at it, and like, I really don't want to do this. And then I went, you know what, you keep telling them, you don't have to do it if you don't want to. I didn't want to do it, so I didn't do it. I just, I didn't want to write a spell using a law of attraction. Because, it just, it was just like, really, that's just, no. I'm, I'm, I'm over it. No. I want to move on to something else, so I skipped it. <clears throat> and then, Friday's prompt, which is the various miscellaneous, slash miscellaneous prompt, um, which, uh, was concerning the full moon. Are you going to use the same ritual as you did last month? Um. <coughs> sorry. I kind of skipped this one, too, because I didn't have anything planned for the full moon. Um, I had a lot going on this past month, 
and ritual was nowhere near my mind. Not gonna lie. Ritual nowhere near my mind. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> remember earlier when I said I'm gonna get back to something? Well, this is what I'm gonna get back to. <sighs> this month, we in February, they were doing runes. And as the um, little, there's usually like a, 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 a The, on Mondays, it was to cho choose a system of runes and then divide those runes up into nine groups because you'll need those nine different groups for the rest of the month, which I did. Not a problem. Like I had mentioned in my last video, I decided to go with the Elder Futh arc. It's what I was familiar with. Just went with it. <coughs> <coughs> I'm so sorry. <clears throat> we have to get a cop drop soon. So I took the took the Elder Food Fark runes and broke them into nine groups. <clears throat> then that was Monday's little rune activity. Then Tuesday through Friday, you were supposed to do a different group. Like Tuesday was group one, Tuesday was group two, or Wednesday was group two, Thursday was group three, Friday was group four. And then you were supposed to um what do they mean in relation to each other? <clears throat> now, I'm gonna be straight up. I went. I did it first, and I'm. I'm I kind of did all three group or all nine groups at one time. It's because I've been running behind, and just kind of banged out all nine groups at once. I said, I know this is gonna. I saw the next week, and I said, okay, fine. I'm just gonna bang them all out at once. <clears throat> so this is what I did. <clears throat> I am so sorry. So I went and I listed all the rooms in nine rows, and as you can see, I had six rows of three. And then I have three rows of two each. And then I took each of the runes and I wrote down some of their meanings, if you will. And then I took, I looked at all their meanings and how they could correlate to each other. So like I have Enzus, Ingus, and Rado, or Rado. Is it Rado or Rado? I don't know. I think it's Rado. Um... So, I felt that the message and the omings and the knowledge could correspond to the self-awareness for Ingles and correspond to the guidance or quest aspect of Rado. That was group one. So then, I, 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 I felt that's what the prompt was asking for, so that's what I went with. <clears throat> okay, so then, where's group two? Where's group two? Okay, so here in group two... We have, oh, I didn't write these guys' names down. Shoot. I didn't write these ones down, and I don't know them off the top of my head. But with these, I corresponded the growth and the introspection to the wholeness. And that's how I related those three together. Then in group three, I have Degas, Jira, and Thurazaz. So I corresponded the transformation from Degas to the cycles from Jira. To the changes in Thurza's ass. And you cycles changes. It's because there's a cycle. doesn't mean anything changes. Not really. It's because something cycles through. Does it. There is a change. But I was thinking that there's a cycle. And there's a change. Cycle will bring about a change. Kind of deal. That's how I interpreted it. <clears throat> okay. And then finally in, in group four. We have. Erwaz. Kanaz. And Tyr. So, I did the improvement from Erewaz, to the enlightenment from Kanaz, to the spiritual warrior aspect of Tyr. That's how it corresponded to me. <clears throat> that's how I interpreted it. <clears throat> so, that's it for this week. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe. I'll have the information down for you below in the description box. And I will see you guys for the next one. Love you. Bye.